This is a bit more of a ranty video than usual, and it's all about choosing your battles. I've been on the carnivore diet for 12 months now. In those 12 months, I've seen lots of improvements in my health, lots of improvements that I'm not going to bore you with in this video because I've got lots of videos about that that you can watch. The topic of this video is more about people's reactions to those improvements. If you've been on the carnivore diet for one, two, three months, and you've tried to explain it to someone, you'll know how frustrating it can be. You're so excited about this diet, you're so excited about the results that you're getting, and you're so excited about how good you're feeling, and when someone asks you a question about it, you can't wait to launch into talking about how much better it is for you. I've experienced this many times with friends and family who have asked me about what's happening with my diet. I'm getting all excited because they might be interested in trying carnivore too and I want to tell them about why it works and how good you can feel. And before long, their eyes are glazing over, they're throwing up objections and they're looking at me like I'm a crazy person that only eats meat. Recently, I was at the doctor to have my blood work done. I was having a consultation as part of that. The doctor wanted to know if I had anything I needed to talk about. I wanted to explain what I was doing to improve my diet and how things were going. And the doctor just didn't want to hear it. As soon as the doctor heard that I was restricting fruits and vegetables and whole grains, he wasn't interested. He didn't want to hear it. He was just throwing out words like balance and moderation and vitamin C and stuff like that. And over the last 12 months, I've found that I've ended up having more of those interactions than not. And I'm sure you've had at least one of these interactions while you've been on the carnivore diet. And what I find most frustrating about these interactions is it ends up taking up so much of your energy. And so I've decided to use a really simple evaluation method whenever I'm about to get into one of these conversations. And this evaluation method just allows me to continue with the conversation or cut it off. And it's as simple as this, engage or disengage. And this works whether you're talking to your doctor, whether you're dealing with comments on a YouTube channel, whether you're talking to a friend or family member. So if someone's genuinely interested, they're asking questions, even if they are throwing up objections, they genuinely want to find out what's going on and they are generally hungry for information, then I'll engage with them. But I don't take a proactive role in talking about carnivore. And one of the reasons I've stopped taking a proactive role is because I feel like even if someone is engaged and is interested in finding out about what carnivore is and why you're doing it and what's happened, when you take that proactive role, you can actually turn people off. Because I think your proactivity and your excitement about carnivore can make the other person start to feel, hang on, there's a sales pitch at the end of this. Or, hang on, I'm going to get invited to an Amway meeting at the end of this. And I think this might be a natural reaction people have. Subconsciously, they understand they've always got to be defensive about someone trying to sell them something. And even though we're not trying to sell something, because we are so positive about the carnivore diet, people's senses might be heightened about those kind of things. So, I'll engage, but I'm going to react to your questions. Or, I'm going to disengage. And disengagement is more likely where someone's taking a more offensive approach. Think about someone in the YouTube comments. What are you talking about? You need to have bread. Fiber is an essential part of everyone's diet. You're just crazy. And of course, you can put a lot of energy into explaining why fiber is not essential and why an animal-based diet is very good for you. But at the end of the day, you need to decide whether to engage or disengage with someone based on the way they approach you. Am I just going to be wasting my time and eventually get frustrated because I'm going to be putting forward arguments to someone who has no chance of ever being convinced of another perspective? So anyway, guys, that's just my ranty perspective on talking about the carnivore diet when people ask questions. And I think you really need to make a choice, whether that's to engage or just disengage in the conversation. And uh, if you do engage, um, you know, you also need to decide how proactive you're going to be about that engagement. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.